This is Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile reporting on the news for Thursday, November 8th, 2012. With lots of pains and aches and a razor-sharp margin, the Greek government passed the highly unpopular austerity measures today to receive its reward of 31.5 billion euros from the International Monetary Fund and European Union. The euro bounced back on these news as its value is closely linked to a possible Greek exit from the eurozone, which would be disastrous. So everybody breathe a sigh of relief for now, but don't celebrate too soon. According to ECB's Mario Draghi, economic growth in Europe will remain slow. A massive winter storm has hit us here in New York last night with the most unfortunate timing ever. Snow and strong winds were shaking the city shortly after Hurricane Sandy caused massive destruction and power outages. Freezing temperatures were a fresh worry for residents who are still left without power. New York distributed space heaters and blankets to residents without heat or power and opened shelters to those in need of a warm place to sleep. Sleep. Mother Nature really hasn't been kind on us. Stay safe, everyone. Chinese President Hu Jintao has opened a Communist Party Congress that begins a once-in-a-decade power transfer with a strong warning on corruption. Speaking to more than 2,000 delegates, Mr. Hu said that a failure to tackle this problem could be the party's undoing and the fall of China. A very fitting message following the political controversy caused by the case of Bog Silai, the former Chongqing party leader who once was the perfect candidate for top office until it emerged that his wife had murdered a British businessman. Boxelai himself will be facing trial on corruption charges. Recent cases of official corruption have provoked massive public unrest and there have been numerous high-profile mass protests with regards to land grabs and environmental issues. MasterCard has come up with a new way to mesmerize our tech-hungry minds by releasing a credit card with an LCD display and built-in keyboard. What for, you may ask? Well, the card has touch-sensitive buttons and the ability to create a one-time password that can be used to log in into online banking. In future, MasterCard is hoping to show the remaining balance of the account on that LCD screen. The card is coming out in Singapore in January. Before before we can get our hands on it globally. Visa also has one of these, but only in Europe currently. Strange, why don't we have one of these in the US yet? It's the gadget consumer country. I'm Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile. Thank you for watching and please make sure to visit our website at corporateprofile.com for more top headlines from around the world and interesting business profiles. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.